Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a short series about vectors in Unreal. Um, and in this one, I'm going to talk about a thing called a cross product for vectors. Uh, so, if you've been following along with the other ve the other vector videos, you might not have. You might be just picking this up in isolation, but you will have seen uh, if you did, or hopefully you know if you didn't that. Uh, you can add vectors together, you can subtract vectors from each other, you can multiply uh, vectors by a number to change the length of the vector. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, what vectors are, then you should watch some of the others of the series, uh, and that will explain the whole thing for you. There are two mathematical concepts that you can do with vectors that you can't do with normal numbers, uh, and they're called the cross product and the dot product. Uh, I already have a video which is about the dot product, so go and look at that. This video is about the cross product. Uh, so the setup that I've got here is uh, a third-person template map. I've got a couple of blueprints in here. I've got a spam all floating around, so I'll just delete that. Uh, this is similar to some of the stuff that I've been doing in some of the the other videos in the series, the recent ones. Um, and I've got this tower here, and I've got a ball. And inside the tower, there is a variable which is a reference to a ball, uh, so we can get access to it and, and manipulate the ball from the tower script. <coughs> right. So, uh, what we're wanting to achieve in this video is that this ball is going to float in the air near the top of this tower, near the registration point of this tower, in fact. Um, and in a, an earlier video, the one on uh, normalized vid uh, vectors, uh, we had it so that it was floating in a, in a position that was directly pointing towards the player from the, uh, from the pole. What we're going to do in this one is we're going to make it so that it's 90 degrees away. Um, so it's either going to be behind or in front of, depending on which, where the player's pointing. So if that is the vector to the player, it's going to be sideways from, uh, from that. And we can achieve this using a cross product. So a cross product is actually, we've got our little widget there, which is quite a good um, illustration. It's You take two vectors and you do the math mass that you need to get a cross product. We don't need to know how to do that because Unreal will do it for us. Um, and if these are our two vectors, A and B, then the cross product is a, a vector which is perpendicular to both of those, uh, like the blue one here. So it's, it's like um, the axes and you're getting one that's perfect. The description that I've heard is it's perpendicular to the plane that both of these vectors. Now, these two vectors don't have to be at right angles to each other for this to work. Um, because if you, I can't actually drag that one around there, but if you imagine it was around there, that would still be upwards. Now, if you pull that downwards a bit, then the blue one will move somewhere around there. So the result of a cross product uh, is a vector. Um, and the length is to do with the length of these two. Um, we're going to ignore the maths that tells us how long the length is because we're just going to normalize the output and uh, use that on a particular so, uh, so what we want to do is we're going to take the vector that is up from this object and the vector that points to the player. Here. And we're going to create a cross product from those two, which will give us a vector It'll be in one of two directions, depending on the order that we fit it in. It'll either come out this way, or it'll come out this way. I can never remember which way it's going to be, so I just try it, and if it's wrong, switch it in. So trial and error is quite useful for this job. So let's get into our uh, script and start doing it. So we're going to want the, uh, the up upwards vector from that uh, pole object. Now, in other videos, if you've been watching them, you'll have seen me get hold of these vectors by getting the rotation for an object, and then using the x, y, and z uh, to give us the uh, to give us the forwards, the right-hand vector, and the up vector, uh, respectively. You can actually get them directly uh, by going get actor up. 
Right, so uh, just to show you the others, get actor um, forward vector, and the other one is get actor right vector, because it's the right hand side. So we just need that one, we'll get rid of these two. Um, got the up vector. The other vector that we want is the vector between the uh, between the pole and the player. So um, we're going to get the vector from the pole to the player. So that's from A to B, and we need B minus A. So we're going to get that um, player first, get player character, and we get location vector. And get actor location, and we also want get actor location for this for this cell. And just use that to uh, subtraction. There we are. So that's the up vector. That's the other vector, and we're going to use the cross product. To give us a vector that is at 90 degrees to both of those. The length for this, as I said before, is dependent on the length of these vectors, but we don't want to be messing about with that length. Uh, we're just wanting this direction and then a fixed distance from that uh, pole. So, what we're going to do is we're going to normalize this to make it unit length, and then we're going to uh, manipulate that, multiply that. Uh, vector times float, and we're going to use a 200. Okay, so that gives us the vector from the pole to the ball. Um, we just need to find the actual location in space that it's going to be. Uh, we need to add the location vector from, uh, for the pole to it. So, plus this vector. Uh, that and we can set you know, a reference to our ball. Set so if I've done everything right, that should have that ball floating in the air, I'm just coming off event tick, so the constant event, and at a ninety degrees. Uh, relationship with the vector between the player and the pole. Um, so as we get across the pole and we flick around, it's following us around. Off we go ahead, it's kind of going ahead of us there, right? And just to demonstrate uh, what I was saying about if I don't know if that's what we're going to want, I can't actually imagine that you'd want this in anger. Um, but uh, if you wanted this to be the other way, so that it was uh, 90 degrees in the opposite direction. Swap them over in the cross product, and so it's now 90 degrees further around. There we go. So I know that this particular example isn't the most useful example of how to use a cross product. I just wanted to demonstrate the use of a cross product, which gives you a, a vector 90 degrees to the other two vectors that you put in. It's actually hugely useful in all sorts of different circumstances uh, when you're manipulating vectors to be able to get a vector perpendicular to the other two vectors. Um, and so if you want to do that, you need a cross product. And that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.